guys and welcome back to another video so this video here is a full bazaar grocery haul that i decided to say hey i need to get some meal um planning going so i didn't really put it all together to like meal plan but while, while i was in the supermarket i said this could go with this that could go with that i can make this and make that so and I'll let you know how much I paid at the end of this video. So, I got this for my daughter's chicken quesadillas because you know she loves her chicken quesadillas. I got four of these breads here. Don't mind it, it's just sweat. I got four of these um, Italian breads. These are just to make like egg bacon sandwiches or maybe a spice, um, a spice ham sandwich or whatever they want to eat. And then, let me just move some of this over because it's crowded up here. Then I got these pizzas. They are really good. Oops. They are really, really good, these pizzas. So I got the four cheeses. And then I got cheese trio pizza. And then the last one is um, the regular four cheese pizzas. And these are for three for ten. Not bad. They're pretty big. Like, me and my girls... And my mom could all have two each. So that's not bad. Then the Coco Pebbles I decided to buy. These were uh, two for seven, but I only bought one, which I should have bought another one, but it's fine. Then I got some Kraft natural cheese. I got the Mexican style for cheese. This is for the chicken quesadilla. Then I bought the tacos because I'm going to make some tacos on Tuesday. And then I got just the regular mozzarella. Um, oh, I forgot to get the other one. It's fine because it's going to be for my chicken pasta. Then I bought the Totino pizza rolls. These are a hundred rolls. Whoa, I'm dropping everything, guys. For $8.99 for this bag. 100 rows. And this is 48.8 ounce bag. So that wasn't bad. Then I decided to get some corn on the cob. I haven't had corn on the cob in so, so long. With some mashed potatoes. And I don't know what type of meat. But I'll figure it out. So it comes 12 mini ears for $3.99. I thought that was pretty good. Then I got some more Nathan's Jumbo crinkle cut french fries these are good we're gonna try it with some cheese but i guess what guys i forgot the cheese and the milk i don't understand how i forgot that then we i decided to get my daughter her little chick-fil-a sauce she was telling me that this sauce at chick-fil-a is $8.99 okay the supermarket could not scan this bad boy so they gave it to me for $3.99 i was my daughter was like what that was a steal then we are going to try this hot sauce the original one because everybody keeps raving about this hot sauce so let's see then i bought some oh so the um chula right chola cholula hot sauce was i think 259 and then i got the classic ranch dressing my oldest loves this when she's going to dip fries and stuff like that i got a lemon then I decided to get some bacon bits or bacon bites, bacon bits for the french fries. We actually want to do like a loaded um, uh, fries the way that like Nathan's be doing it. So I got this. And then I got salt and vinegar chips. These are 99 cents. My chips are hoys. These were two for seven. I only got one because I'm the only one in this household that actually eats chocolate chip cookies. And then I want us to give this a try. This is where I'm going to make the um, tacos. They the hard and soft tacos. And this comes with six taco shells, six flour tortillas, mild taco sauce, and seasoning mix. I'm actually going to try to use the actual stuff that's in here and see how it tastes. Because I'm a very, very picky eater. Then I have here the panini. I think that's how you say it. For chicken alfredo. I'm going to try to make that. Then I got the Snapple Fruit Punch. Th these were two for four. The Tropical Original No Pope. That was $3.99. 
And then I got a Snapple tea, which is peach tea. Then I got some Pop-Tarts, the chocolate fudge one. I love these. And the toaster. I don't know how these kids nowadays can eat these cold. I don't know how they can do that. Then I got this one as, as well, the s'mores. Then I'm trying to get a little bit more healthier on the eating side. So I bought some broccoli to eat it with some mashed potatoes and maybe that corn and cob over there. We, we're going to see how we're going to do things. Then I bought some elbows to make some mac and cheese in the oven. And then regular mac and cheese just to make with chicken cutlet or something. And then I bought some large shells. This is going to be made with um, spaghetti. And then this here, because I couldn't find my rotini box for the chicken pasta, but to me, they're the same thing. So I just bought this one. Then I bought some chicken breast, $9. I don't know, they've been switching up on their meats, like their brands of meat. Um, I don't know, I'm, like I said, I'm real picky. And then I got this one here for $7.75. And then I got some ground beef for $7.05. So I will be making chicken pasta out of this because I think I have a few more chicken um, breasts of chicken cutlet in my freezer from when I went to Wagman's. Um, yeah, guys, so I'm going to make chicken pasta. I'm going to make chicken quesadillas. I'm going to make, hopefully, chicken tacos if I have enough. If not, I will have to go back and buy some more. Um, and also make the chicken alfredo. And then I have a big bag of Idaho potatoes. And this here is the 10-pound bag. And I bought this for $3.99. Then I wanted to give this a try. I don't know if anybody ever tried this. If you did, please let me know in the comment section below. It's Thai style chicken dumplings. I'm going to try this. I'm not a real vegetable eater, but I'm hoping those are chopped really small. But let's see. And then I bought some bacon, some turkey bacon. These were actually on sale for two for six. So I just jumped on it. And then I bought me some sugar cones for my ice cream that I already have in the refrigerator. So guys, I spent here, which I thought it was pretty decent, $132.47. And I saved $47.68. I thought that was awesome. I try to do everything that was on sale um, because I normally do because everything has been the prices have been so expensive like people have been jacking up prices and things like that and the supermarkets they slowly come in with the deals so let's see guys i'm gonna make some meals look at me doing big things but if you like these type of videos these grocery hauls please give me a thumbs up don't forget to share and subscribe and i'll be seeing everyone in my next video